Hello guys, Filament version 4 is in the works and coming soon. And one of the Filament community members, Florian, wrote on his blog this article, summarizing what we currently know about upcoming Filament 4. And in this video I have picked five most important, in my opinion, things from his article, and not only that, the features that would solve the biggest problems from what I see in Filament version 3, although it's very hard to show something visual about Filament 4 because it's not visual and nothing to show yet, but I will show you the problems in Filament 3, which will be solved quite soon. When exactly? I will talk about that at the end of this video. So feature number one is unified schema. And two paragraphs are about that, about basically the same topic, that it's hard to customize the current form, table, widgets, and info list because they are all separate things. And in version four, they will have schema, page schema, which will kind of unify the components and you would be able to customize the page layout with that schema. Here's how Dan described it in April 2024. So it's been a year since they started talking about Filament V4 on the podcast. And I will link the podcast in the description below, but in the transcript, you can see this. So you have a form, info list, widget, and a table. And if you want to change the layout of the pages, you need to publish the view of each page and then customize it separately to change things around. So the vision was to have schema as a package and other packages would then build on top of the base schema components, which will help you to not only customize the layout, but also unify the naming. For example, the word action now has dozens of meaning and namespaces and filament that could be also solved at least partially with unified schema for separate filament packages. In short, more flexible customization and more clear naming. The second thing is performance optimization and specifically for tables. I have a separate 10 minute video explaining what is the problem with performance now for tables, especially with a lot of rows and columns. And Dan is saying that in version four tables would be around twice as fast. So I'll link that video in the description below and will not repeat that here. Thing number three I want to show is partial rendering. And I'm not entirely sure how it would work in Filament 4, but the problem is that within Livewire component, now if you change something, all Livewire component is re-rendered. So for example, if you have a table and perform some search, then in the update, Livewire update of that page, guess which part of the page is actually re-rendered, refreshed. The answer is in this HTML. And if I copy and paste that HTML into editor, if we scroll a bit down, we can see that there is a link to accounting transactions, which starts here. These are breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs item. So as you can see, I'm changing the table, but the whole thing is refreshed, which is of course not ideal. Maybe the wrong example I'm showing, but the idea of partial rendering is to be able to render some part of the page on the change of other part of the page without full re-rendering. Thing number four I want to emphasize is nested resources in a native way. So in version three, we have tried to implement nested resources on our Laravel daily and in a few examples, and it kind works in a hacky way. And at the end of this article, you can see how many comments do we have. So the demand for that feature is pretty huge. And people report that it kind of works, but in some cases it doesn't. Also, there is a package filament nested resources with a lot of stars. So it's in demand to have resource within a resource, like for example, categories and then products and stuff like that. So that should come native in filament four. And the final new feature I want to emphasize is static data table. Florian cheers that with finally and also on Twitter on my tweet around filament 4 there's this reply static data sources been waiting for this feature for long and we also have an article on Laravel daily example loading table data from third-party API so this is not from local database. It may be third party API, it may be static data, it may be JSON, whatever. So Dan is promising to introduce that in Filament 4. And there are more features in that article. So I advise you to read that in full. Also, if you have free time, you want to re-listen to the podcast of Bright Ideas. There are a few episodes every like three months or so talking about V4 from various angles. And here's where we come to the question of when Filament 4. And unfortunately, there is no official announced date at the time of shooting this video. But what we do know is that in June, Dan will be talking about Filament 4 at Laravel Live UK. And I will also be there and talk to Dan about that. But at this point, we're not sure whether V4 will be released by then 
on stage or sometime after. But if he's talking about that in public on stage already, it means the release is soon. And don't forget that for Dan and for Filament team, Filament is a hobby project. They are not full-time on that. They all have other full-time jobs and Filament is not paying the bills. I'm not sure how much they get from sponsorship, but I'm pretty sure it's not comparable to something like Laravel as a company. So go easy on them, don't over push, we'll have Filament V4 definitely this year. And if you want to follow the progress on the official Filament repository on GitHub, there's projects and then there's a roadmap updated two minutes ago as I'm shooting this video, no idea what was updated. And here you see the versions, alpha, beta with 29 and 33 items with a lot of comments, who is doing what and in which state. So you can read all of that and also help with documentation writing or other small tasks if you see you're capable to help somewhere. What do you think about those new features or other features you're awaiting in Filament 4? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.